I spent $20 of my hard-earned money on a Flash game with possibly the worst graphics ever to figure out if I'm smarter than a fifth grader. And by God, do I hope we both are. Let's do it. My character looks like a combination of me and Tommy in it. Let's do it. This show was a banger. I don't know why they took it off air. There's his little fingers. Jeff Foxworthy. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jeff Foxworthy. It's time to play Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? I'd hope so. Here's the enemies. Alicia, Lewis, George, Juliet, and Jeremy. There he is. <laughs> why is he sprinting onto the stage? For having me. Talks like a southern guy. All right, let me tell you how to play the game. I don't need you to tell me how to play. I know how to do this. Let's get started. Oh. Uh, I am gonna go with Please. Jeremy. It's you and me, I feel like Jeremy. Jeremy's gonna be very helpful. Let's go, buddy. Okay, right, I'm hoping I don't have to call grade. Jeremy at any Pick point. I feel like I'll be good here. Let's start things off pretty easy. First grade health. True or false, a doctor uses a stethoscope to listen to your heart. That's gotta be true. Yeah, 100%. Lock it in. Locking in. Oh, wow, what an anticlimactic way to reveal that I was right. Let's get crazy, let's go third grade physics. If I get any of these wrong, I'm gonna revoke my entire education. Light is a form of water. In his answer very uh, so light is energy. <laughs> I'm pretty positive. I'm not confident though. It's got to be energy, right? Yes. Excellent. Let's go. Ooh, a little tricky there. I'm a little nervous about clicking fifth grade or fourth grade, but I'm gonna have to go for it. Let's go fourth grade art. This might be the hardest one on the board. For five thousand dollars, here is the question. What two colors are most commonly used to create OP art designs? I don't know what that means, but if there's two common colors that are probably contrasting enough to qualify being a term in art, it would be black and white. I think I'm going to stick with my gut here and just go black and white because those are the two that contrast the most. So none of these other pairings really make sense. Let's go black and white. I can't believe I'm probably going to get one wrong right here. You've got $5,000. Yes. Oh my gosh. Woo! I'm way too happy for getting a fourth grade question. I say we go for it. Let's go fifth grade English. I feel very confident in my English skills. I think we'll be fine here. This next question is worth $10,000. What do we call the repetition of vowel sounds in non-rhyming words? So alliteration is when the first letter of words in a sequence have the same letter. But it doesn't need to be a vowel. That's why I don't think it's alliteration. It's obviously not consonants. It's not a paradox. So I'm thinking it's an assonance. It's the only one on here that really makes sense. So I think this is okay. a good answer. I'm yeah, right. it's got to be. You've got Let's go. Oh, my All gosh. Right. Woo. It's got me sweating. Let's go back to first grade for earth science. Okay, I like geology. True or false, in the northern and southern hemispheres, the seasons are reversed. That is true. Final answer. Don't got to spend a lot of time on that. 25 G's in the bank. Let's go reading. I'm pretty good at reading, I think. I've been reading the prompt so far. Which of the following things would you find in a Brothers Grimm tale? Brothers Grimm, I think, is like the fairy tales. Like Rapunzel is like a Brothers Grimm tale. So it would make sense if Cinderella is, so a glass slipper makes the most sense to me. So I'm going to go glass slipper, final answer. If Rapunzel is, I mean, I'm assuming Cinderella is. I'm like 90% sure. You've got right. Oh, let's go. So we're pretty much halfway to the million. All right, who do I want to pick last during recess? Who's going to struggle with social anxiety for the rest of their life? Let's go with Alicia and then Lewis, unfortunately. I'm sorry, dude. Let's go second grade measurements. Okay. Hopefully it's American measure, imperial units. Ounces, cups, blanks, quarts. What do they want from me here? They gave me a seven letter word and the only seven letter word left here is gallons. This is such a dog water question. I'm gonna just use a cheat because I'm not trying to lose on something so stupid. So I could either peek or I could copy. I think I wanna copy whatever Alicia wrote down. So I'm putting a lot of trust into Alicia, but this is second grade measurement, so I trust her. I think I'm going to copy my classmate's answer.
She put pints. You've got one hundred thousand dollars. Thank you so much, Alicia. Oh my gosh, that was so clutch of her. Let's go fourth grade science. Increase the difficulty a little bit. Which of the following metal stays liquid at room temperature? I am pretty confident this is mercury because they use that in thermometers, or at least the old thermometers. And it obviously withstands room temperatures because it fluctuates up and down depending on what the degrees are. So I want to go mercury. The rest of these are definitely solid. Lock it in. You got the right answer. Oh, let's go. Third grade social studies. True or false? So 50% chance. Rhode Island was one of the original 13 colonies. This is absolute cake. The answer is true. That's probably the easiest question we've gotten so far. Pretty much every state on the East Coast is an original 13 colony. Maybe besides like Maine. Correct. Ding, ding, ding. Yes. Sammy in it with $300,000. Let's go, baby. All right. For half a million dollars. Fifth grade life science. What does an endocrinologist study? Hormones. Final answer. Positive. That one was easy. Test hormone imbalance, things like that. Testosterone, estrogen, all those good things. You've earned half a million dollars. I think it's fair to say, at least at the moment, I'm on par with the fifth grader. Man, that was fast. So this will now officially decide if I'm smarter than a fifth grader. Let's see the subject of the million. Give me a good subject. And there it is. Oh, let's go. Let's go. How lucky are we? I'm going for it. This is the this is literally my bread and butter. If I get this wrong, I promise I will delete the Sam Tucha channel. Okay, the largest island in the world. It all depends on your definition of an island because a lot of the times when people talk about islands, they'll discount certain areas and land masses like Australia, Antarctica, which are technically islands in and of their own rights, but I feel like continental land masses are typically discounted. And then you have the largest chain of islands, which is Indonesia. I don't think we're talking about continental land masses because then like Africa is an island technically. So I think if we're gonna use a stricter definition of island, then it's probably gonna be Greenland. Greenland doesn't have autonomy. It's owned by Denmark and it is an island and it is fairly big, though not as big as you think. Listen, at this point, We've done all we could do. Greenland is my final answer. Lock it in. You're now locked in for the final time. One million dollars is on the line. You've won one million dollars. Let's go, baby. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Well, that was a lot easier than who wants to be a millionaire.